what's going on guys and welcome back to some more my hero academia or boku no hero academia however you want to say it man my hero academia way more easier to say anyways but anyways man two first episodes really intrigued me into this series i can see where it's going in a way already sound like it's probably going to be really good or really bad <laughs> but anyways man you guys love this series so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love it too um because so far my subscribers have not led me to believe that anything they suggest is bad so um difference of opinion maybe but definitely some of the some of the stuff that some of the stuff is definitely top five top ten material that you guys have been suggesting so I'm wondering what's going to happen when y'all run out of stuff to suggest. Which is probably not going to be anytime soon. But still. Still looking forward. To this anime. Very good anime. So far. The animation. I like it. Um, I like the portrayal of the heroes. Of course. All Might being the toppy top top. Um, you know. I keep calling him the number one hero. Or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like everybody looks for him to show up in every situation you know he's not the only hero around obviously other people you know what i'm saying like other people are heroes you know it's gonna be really funny too the all might is funny he got the chops but he also is funny i like his moves you know i like his moves even though it's you know I like his moves. So I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking that Deku is going to be um, the guy. He's probably going to end up going to the school or the academy or whatever um, that Bakugo was teasing him about saying he doesn't have a quirk. Why, you know, why is he even trying to get in? Like everybody there has a quirk. So maybe Deku is going to be that guy that, you know what I'm saying? He's the only one who don't have a quirk who became a hero and became the greatest hero ever so um so i don't know what's gonna happen so let's jump into this and see what's going on man thank you guys so much for all the support on these videos also i just started yu yu haka show so you guys might if you have not checked that out yet check it out man um so far i've done two episodes so um but i love the story so far um so let's jump into this I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys for the review, man. You already know. You already know. All right. So here we are. My Hero Academia episode three and four. Man, this anime really gets in your feelings, man. It really gives you the feels, man. I was getting goosebumps. Um, it's been a while since I since I got goosebumps so early on in an anime, man. The OST, man, this reminds me. It reminds me of Naruto's OST. How they just they just get deep within. They, they get you, man. Like it's like I don't know. It could be the same people that created the Naruto OSTs. Although I doubt it, you know what I'm saying? But it could be, you know what I'm saying? They just have a way with sound, you know what I'm saying? And making it fit the moment. And a lot of animes that I've watched, they really do miss the point. You know what I'm saying? When it comes on to OST, um, you guys already know my favorites, you know, over the course. I haven't really told you my favorites from, um, from Naruto, but I have expressed, you know, throughout the ones that I've watched here on the channel, the ones that I really like, how they fit the moment. Attack on Titan does a really good job of that too. Um, Ippo, of course. Death Note OSD, I liked it. It really fits the moment. Um, I just never liked the openings or the... I think the, the first opening was cool. Like the first one, but the second one, the death metal, Jesus Christ, that shit was horrible. <laughs> but anyways, when it comes on to this anime right here, My Hero Academia kind of take things to another level. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just really does. You know, it just really gets you hyped to even watch the episode. I, I wish I could do another episode right now, but I think that was a good one to end it on. Him being accepted, passing the exam. I think that's pretty cool that 
um, that they're going that direction. Um, and I saw I saw it coming, man, because I was thinking about it and I was like, this really doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you introduce something into the story that you don't have to? You get what I'm saying? But then it turns out that it was there for a reason. And that's what I'm saying. It had to be there for a reason. And it turns out that there's rescue points that they don't tell the tell the kids about, which is which is which is totally acceptable in my eyes, because if you tell them about it, they're just going to go out there looking for rescue points, which is you want that to be something that they naturally do. And you see how all of them was just running away. Once, once they saw the big monster that's worth zero points, right? They just all ran away because they were warned about it. Now, the thing about it is this, what they're actually looking for. If you want to be a hero, if you want to be a superhero, you got to be able to make those quick decisions into putting your life in danger um, to save another, risking your life. If you're a hero academy, you need to see that quality because if you don't see that quality, how are you going to be a pro hero? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you planning to be a pro hero if you're not willing to take that risk? It's not just about taking down um, monsters or villains or whatever. It's not just about that. It's about are you going to prioritize? And we see this also in One Punch Man where you see the priority is saving people. And that's why um, you have, um, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now, but I think he's an, he's necessary, even though, even though I believe he does get in over his head a lot. The one that rides the bike. Um, ah, man, I can't remember his name, man. Um... You guys know who I'm talking about, man. The one that rides the bike, he's like the head of the D-class or something like that. Um, he's like the number one D-class hero or whatever. So, but, but he's he's pretty cool. I think he's head of C-class. I don't think he's C-class. Is he the head of C-class? I think he's C-class, not D-class. But Moomin Rider, man. That's who I'm talking about. Moomin Rider. I think he's necessary to be in the story because he's one of those people who you can't deny being a hero. He doesn't have no super super skills or anything, but he will make sure that people are safe and stuff like that. And he'll even put himself in danger and take the hit in front of a child or, you know, someone that's there. He's always ready to protect people and he'll use the bicycle. <laughs> he'll use that bicycle to knock your ass out. Don't get it twisted now. But the thing about it that I like the most, man, about this anime is that it's not afraid to show you what a true hero is. You know what I'm saying? It kind of it's like a comic book in anime form and I that's the reason why I'm probably pulling towards it so much because um, Midoriya or Deku, he has so many damn names because his mother calls him something different. They, they, you know, his name is Midoriya, and I, I think somebody else calls him Deku. I think, I think it's, I think it's Bakugo that calls him Deku. I, it's just weird. Anyways, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The main character, um, it was such a hype moment to see him use the quirk for the first time. Squeeze your buttocks and say it from your heart smash <laughs> pretty cool stuff man i like it you can't do nothing but smile at those things when you see them in anime because it's it, this is um i'm i you know they could have found a better way for it to ingest the dna but you know whatever works <laughs> that was gross but i guess that's the quickest way for him to do it um at the time plus for people not to know about it also. Because I was saying, man, he could have done blanch, a blood transfusion or something. But um, maybe that would take up too much time. You know, the next day was the, the entrance exam. So that would have probably took up, whatever. This is, it was just a suggestion. I just think swallowing somebody's hair is gross, okay? Even though we do it by mistake sometimes, even our own hair. You know what I'm saying? But it's gross because hair does not feel good going down. <laughs> it just doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not a nice thing. <laughs> so, but anyways, man, very much enjoyed these two episodes. I'm glad his mom is always going to be there to support him. I love the fact that she still supports him um, through everything. You know, even though a lot of times you want your parent to say something different than what they usually say. You know what I'm saying? Like she's saying that. 
you know what? I'm proud of you for even trying to get in. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that was cool, you know. So I'm all for it, man. Their relationship is pretty is pretty genuine. It's how she feels, so that's how she's gonna express herself, so that's fine. Um, so we found out that All Might actually came to their town to to um to teach at UA. So that's that's cool too to find to find that out. Um so, cause we, I, we did see him in, in the monitoring room. Um, yeah. So I'm interested to know about these other kids, man. Um, it looks like the, the dude that it seems like he can move around quickly and stuff that was giving him a hard time or whatever. Um, even when they were in, explaining the instructions to him, like he, he wants to be that guy, you know what I'm saying? Head of the class speaks up, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of times like in school, in regular school, we never liked that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We never liked that guy because he's always talking out of turn, always trying to correct everybody and stuff like that so i'm hoping that he becomes a character that we actually like and stuff like that um in the future um and he real he picks up on things very quickly um so in in no you know in certain ways i might relate to him a lot because he did pick up on that thing just like i did you know that there's something else going on here that we don't know about you know what i'm saying which was revealed to me um revealed to them to the story also later on in the episode so Thank you guys so much for watching, man. This is my review of episode three and four. Hope you guys checked it out. If you have, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section, and subscribe if you're new. There's more to come. I wish you guys the best, man. Terabyte Reacts out. Peace.